Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Testing Me Bites. I'm your friend Abhinav Shaktivel. And in this video, we're going to learn about Git Push. Right? This is a part 5 of our Git playlist. If you haven't watched uh, the previous videos, I would highly recommend please to watch them. Uh, you know, so that you can understand what's going on here. Right? So, uh, you know, so far, what we have done is basically, uh, we have created some code. We have committed those code to the local repository. We understood what is staging why we need to we need to have a staging area and all that but now uh, we cannot have this inside our machine itself so whatever that you see on the left hand side in uh, white it's, it's within your machine right so uh, you cannot share this with your developers you cannot use uh, you cannot send this via drive you cannot share this via mail right so because if you do that it, it cannot be collaborated very effectively and that's when you have to store this in a remote repository again guys it's it's nothing but an, another machine um, that that is that is having git installed and also it has some other features uh, that's provided again it can be your gitlab it can be your github it can be anything right so uh, in the previous video i told how to create an account for git uh, in github so i would highly recommend creating a github account first before trying to push your code to a remote repository right so we have understood uh, what is git add uh, what is git commit uh, we also understood what is uh, git reset but now uh, we will try to understand what is git push right so we are going to push our code from our local repository to the remote repository right so if two things right we know the in the local repository we have the code with us but where this remote repository right so and that's when um, so i will basically open my uh, github account you can also open yours right so there are two ways you can do that uh, you can either create a repository here and then uh, you know use it or you can allow the intellij as we already seen you can allow the intellij to create a repository for you for example let's say uh, if you go to the git right and then if you try to see there is manage remotes right you can go here you can add uh, define remote and then you can give the url name right so if you create the repository here we have this but it is it is also not needed in this case you can also allow uh, you know intellij to create it for you how to do that we go here um, go to the github and then you can basically choose a uh, share project on github right and then uh, intellij is very smart right um, if you notice the repository name is automatically coming do you want this to be a private repository or should be should this be accessible to everyone i want this to be public so i don't check this and uh, what is the name of the remote its origin you can give a uh, reference like a uh, description for this um, it is a project that i created to demonstrate uh, git learnings in youtube whatever some detailed description and again if you notice um, so it is asking uh, shared by whom so i have two different uh, github accounts in my intellij uh, again if you want to know how to configure this you can basically go uh, to the settings here and then okay close this and then if you notice here uh, version control and uh, you can choose um, git here and uh, github yeah so if you go to, go to GitHub here, so I have two different accounts. One is my personal account, one is my office account. You can also add it by yourself, but if you don't have this setup by yourself, okay, then it will ask you by in a pop-up, right? Um, you can just give, uh, you know, your email email ID, and then you can just provide your password so that it uses OAuth uh, two to basically uh, generate a GitHub token and then IntelliJ will take care of it remaining. So it will, it is very easy. Or you can also, <clears throat> let's say, you can log in via GitHub. You can choose this. And then, you know, it will it'll ask you to authorize in GitHub. And then basically, if you have your GitHub already there, it will authorize it, okay? So it's gonna be a very simple task. You can do it by yourself. Uh, let's go back. We don't need this because I already have this uh, setup. So let's uh, go to GitHub share project on github again this is for the first time guys uh, this option might not be available all the time right so so you can also enter some uh, git learnings 
YouTube project, whatever, right? And then I choose my uh, personal account. So it basically fetches all the details and then click on share, right? Not everyone can push the code to my repository, uh, my GitHub account, right? Only I should have the access. So if you notice, uh, successfully shared on GitHub and this is the project, you can also click this directly. Basically, it created a project for me. This is my project. This is my readme file. Everything is looking good, right? Let's make one more change and then let's commit one more thing. So we have now understood what is Git push. Git push is basically, um, you know, moving your code, moving your code from local to remote. And to do this, uh, we need to know, we need to have a GitHub account and a, a GitHub set account set up in IntelliJ, right? Right. So that IntelliJ uses your tokens, GitHub token to basically create the project for you. Now let's do a commit. Again, this scenario we have already seen. So add a info about git push, right? So very, very simple. So you, I'm not right, doing any commands here, right? So I have committed the code. Now, if I try to do a push, so if you notice previously, uh, you know, we used to GitHub and then we used to share project on GitHub. But the problem is we already have that project in GitHub. So this time we don't have to use this. We can directly do a push. So now it's saying, hey, the currently by default, all your code things will have a branch called as master branch. Okay. And then uh, from my local, so if you guys notice in my local, this is master branch. Okay. I don't have any other branch here. So local branch name is master. And then in the remote, I have a branch called origin master, right? So if you notice here, this is the branch now, this is origin master. So whatever the changes that I have in my local master, I am trying to push it to origin master, right? You can also push it to a different branch. You can come here, you can change it, but for we will, uh, you know, see about branching strategies in the coming video. But for now, I'm trying to push some code from here to here. So once I do this, this section will be again added with git push section, right? Let's do a push. Again, push to one commit. Let's go refresh this and see there is a new change here, right? Good. So if you want to still understand what is the git command that is happening on the hood, uh, you can also go here to the console and then you can see what is git push and then origin master. So uh, you can also learn from these commands as well, but we don't need them. I don't actually know, uh, you know, a lot of commands. I, I basically use IntelliJ, right? Um, so that's all about git push. We will understand some strategies, how branching strategies work, how to, what is a branch, when to create a branch, how to create a pull request and all that in the coming videos. I hope you like this. We will see uh, some beautiful things in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.